Now, flag bearer aspirant for the NDC, Dr. Echo Spio Gabra, wants the party's Council of Elders to act on the petition signed by the eight aspirants against the guidelines of the electoral process. Speaking at a press conference here in Accra earlier today, the former trade and industry minister acknowledged that he remains in the race and faced by the closure of the nomination window. Dr. Spio Gabra was hopeful that the party's Council of Elders will find wisdom, he says, in the petition to create an even playing field for all aspirants. You, I suspect, will have received copies of a petition that was distributed between Sunday evening and Monday addressed to the chairman of the Council of Elders and other members of the NDC Council of Elders and seeking their intervention to ensure what we hope will be a level playing field as well as greater fairness and justice to the individuals who would like to lead our great party. We believe that the issues that have been raised are not just a matter of particular individuals and their ambitions or even about money and quantums of filing fees, but about, about principles, about principles of equity, principles of fairness, principles of justice, which are actually are in the national motto of Ghana, freedom and justice. And that if there is a contest that's going to take place and there are signals that the contest may not be free and fair, that those matters that pertain to the contest be brought up for assessment by the rightful bodies within the party. In this case, the National Council of Elders, which in our understanding is the most senior most, um, or is the senior most body within the party structure that can advise and recommend to other structures what is the best solution to any problem. Dr. Kospio Gabra there, he has also hinted that a legal action by his sympathizers will not be far-fetched if the party fails to address the concerns in the petition. And even beyond the Council of Elders, there are sympathizers and other supporters who are also exploring other remedies, including what rights we may have through the the legal and judicial system of Ghana. We have come a long way as a people since our independence, trying to maneuver through very difficult and challenging times in a global economy where Ghana is a very small player. One of the things that many of us believe will allow Ghana to become a much more prosperous nation and a country with more rapid development potential is sim simply issues of discipline, issues of following rules, issues of following procedures, and where we have constitutional provisions following those constitutional provisions. So constitutional provisions apply, of course, to the national constitution itself of the Republic of Ghana, and in this case also the constitution of the National Democratic Congress, which is a political party. The main issue with that aspect of our petition is simply that the National Executive Committee is expected, based on an article in the Constitution, to consult with the Council of Elders when coming up with regulations dealing with the elections of the of a flag bearer. As I'm sure many of you may know, the National Executive Committee held meetings in Ada, I believe on Tuesday and Wednesday last week, to come up with the regulations. But then the very next day, Thursday, last week is when they came and presented their proposals, recommendations, or decisions. In our judgment, and after checking with a number of members of the Council of Elders, there certainly could not have been any time between a Wednesday evening meeting and a Thursday 10 a.m. press conference during which the National Council of Elders could have met. And consulting with the Council of Elders is not a matter of calling two or three of them and asking their opinions on any subject. There must be a formal meeting of the council, and like any serious body, meetings of such a council require the secretariat to invite the members on a day and a time that has been proposed to a location with an agenda attached, and the members sitting together at a particular time to discuss whatever issues pertain 
to their meeting. To the best of our knowledge, such a meeting did not take place after the National Security Committee meeting and is only now taking place today. Dr. Akospio Gabra is also adding that fellow aspirant hopefuls who picked up nomination forms despite signing the petition did so based on their own conviction. We are aware that some colleague aspirants who had signed the petition indicating that they were not going to pick the nomination forms eventually either picked the forms or arranged through surrogates to pick the forms or reportedly had surrogates pick the forms for them. We leave that decision to the judgment of the people of Ghana and to the NDC party members themselves in whatever way they would like to characterize it. But for those of us who did not pick the forms, we are attempting with all the difficulty and all the risks involved to insist on principle, to insist on justice, and to insist on fair play.